Joyce, really congratulations. Thank you. 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 Thank The message that, that uh, Stuart Law gave, gave you uh, beforehand was to create your own history. How does it feel to know that you, you actually have done a bit of that today? That's a real shit. <laughs> no, it feels really good, you know, um, especially after the game in Edgbaston, you know, it was a tough loss and, you know, a lot of teams would have crumbled, you know, coming back into the second test match and and probably not giving England the fight that we, that we gave them. Um, yeah, I just want to say credit to every single member of this, this team, you know. Um, I said at the beginning of the test match that I, I backed this, these guys to, to rebound. And, you know, no better way to do it, you know. Outstanding effort here by Shea, as well as Craig. I thought they, they led the batting tremendously in this entire game. And each and every bowler, I just can't really fault them, you know. Everybody came up and gave an effort throughout the entire test match. You know, it didn't always go away in terms of the chances we missed, but it didn't deter any bowler from coming in and, and keep giving an effort, and that's why I really asked of everyone. And, and you should, you've made your own personal history as well, this ground, and the, the history of this ground. Yeah, it was mainly about winning the game, um, especially after that loss at Ed Baston, and knowing how much the fellas really wanted this win, and you can see the fight and the belief in the dressing room and on the field, so I'm just pleased with you guys. So much that you said about your promise, but to now have two centuries there, well, how, what does this mean to you, you know, your own development as, as a batsman? What's been the difference? Yeah, well, it's good to be progressing. Um, I obviously want to score centuries for my team and as many runs as possible to the team so we can win games. But it's just good to get that monkey off my back and, as I said, do whatever I can to make the team win the game. Jason, can you tell me how much did the hurt you, you guys felt after age fashion contribute to the way that you played it? Um, it? It did something, you know, we had plenty of time to reflect, you know, being bitten in three days. Um, each and every member of the, the team felt it, you know, we were really hard on ourselves, you know, but it wasn't a situation where we could panic. It was just a, a, a time for us to find solutions. Uh, we sat down as a team and we had a really, really good meeting after the, the Edgbaston test match and I felt from there, you know, I could see um, most of the guys understanding a lot more about what was required of them and, and, and where we needed to be in terms of coming into this test match and performing. And as I said, credit must go to everybody. You know, everybody put their hands up. I don't think there's a question of us not working hard. You know, we work really hard behind the scenes and I don't think anybody shirts their, their, their work or, or what's required from them. So to come and all the preparation, you know, pays off. You know, I feel really, really good. Did you have that meeting at Edgbaston, actually on the ground, or was it a little bit later? The no, we had a practice session, our, our first practice session after that test match. You know, we sat as a group before we started practice, and we just sat and discussed a few things. Um, you know, obviously we needed to highlight where we went wrong and, and areas where we can improve on, and, you know, we did that, and we were able to formulate plans coming into this game of how we wanted to approach this one. And, you know, credit must go to really guys stuck to them. You know, one of the areas we've, we've fell down in the past is, is we've formulated plans, but we've not been able to, to stick, them, stick to them long enough and give them a chance. So uh, I really urge primarily, our, um, particularly the bowlers, you know, to stick to the plans that we come up with and, and just be a lot more consistent uh, and patient. And, you know, credit must go to them. I thought Shannon Gabriel was outstanding in his first test match back. Uh, Kemar Roach, you know, probably wasn't his best um, in this test match, but I, I, I still thought he did a really good job. You know, myself, I just kept running in, and, and Rossin and Davinja, you know, they played a really big part as well. So, you know, credit to the bowling unit as well, and, and mainly the batters, I guess, won this game for us. Shai, as, as a young player, do you look back on the, uh, the history of the success of this thing he's had and kind of embrace it? And you know, you, at the time, some players have found it quite some sort of side thing that always been kind of compared to the past. How do you view that and uh, the fact that you've obviously had this success now? Yeah, well, history is history. We can't change it. So you have to stay in the present and look to build on the future. So uh, we know within ourselves that we're good cricketers and to play for everything out there, we just got to make sure we execute, as Jason said, in both departments and try to get the wins. Dealing with the moving ball, knowing where the off stump is, how to leave, like you've got a pretty decent exhibition of that. Yeah, where does that kind of come from? Have you had to do anything 
specifically to kind of work on that to be able to, to have this success? It was just to have a clear, clear mind, clear game plan. I knew what I wanted to do in the middle and just try to execute as well as I can. Shark, can you tell us what was going on when Jim took his helmet off towards the end there? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm still trying to find out what that was, but I guess the best person to ask is him. <laughs> yeah. How annoyed was he when he... Pardon? How annoyed was he? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. How confident are you guys now for putting on another show like that? Uh, we have to be confident. We, we cricketers, we test cricketers for a reason, and we know we have have the ability to perform at the optimal level. So we just got to make sure we we put that almost perfect performance together because it's very very unlikely that you play a perfect cricket game. But just try to string as many good con consistent performances as possible in one game to to get that win. And will being at Lords give him even greater motivation? Yeah, definitely, man. Uh, I think everybody's looking forward to this Test match here at Lords. Um, for many of us, it's a childhood dream, you know, to play a Test match at Lords and to be coming into Lords, you know, with a chance to win this series. Um, I think it's significant for us. You know, um, I said, remember the first press conference I had. You know, people asked what are um, our chances. You know, they gave us, you know, the same chances that England probably give themselves. You know, to win this series, and that's what we set out to do. It doesn't always happen that way, you know. But the main thing is for us to keep progressing as a side, and I think we're showing that. Yeah, I think we all can learn from Craig. He's still young, yes, but he did play some some games over the years. He played in many different places, and just knowing his 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 strength, especially concentration, you can pick that from him. And he tries to keep it as simple as possible, and that's one thing that we all as players can do, whether it's bowling or batting. Were you worried about bad light as it was coming to the end there? Were you afraid that that might become a factor? Yes and no. Um, if the lights blew out, we still have to get the runs. So regardless, I could see the ball. Even if I couldn't, I could see the ball. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Jim.